The ESFP personality falls within the sensing and feeling, which is part of the relating. These are people that are very people oriented. They are other oriented. They're best described as someone who's service minded, practical, unselfish, kind, and even understanding. So the general description of an ESFP is that they're outgoing, friendly, and accepting. And my favorite comment is that they're exuberant lovers of life, people, and material comforts. I think that really sums up an ESFP. Every ESFP I know is exactly that person. They enjoy working with others and making things happen. They bring a common sense and a realistic approach to work, and they like to make work really fun. They are the fun of people at work, the people that are like magnets and pull others towards them. They're flexible and they're spontaneous, but they learn best by trying a new skill with other people, of course. Eight and a half percent of our total population is an ESFP, and you'll see that they're mostly women. And their strengths tend to be adaptability, enthusiasm, energy, ability to motivate others, and they really are great negotiators. And so they'll take a situation, create a negotiation, and be able to make a compromise between different parties until you build a consensus. They're also immediate problem solvers. ESFPs are friendly, outgoing, fun-loving, likable, and naturally drawn toward others. They enjoy working in groups and with other lively, fast-paced people. They like to offer alternatives based on common sense. Within an organization, they're going to contribute enthusiasm, energy, and they have a great spirit of cooperation. They have a positive image of the organization. They love action-oriented excitement and fun within the organization. They have a quick ability to link people, information, and resources and they're going to accept and deal with others just as they are, treating most people very generously. Within their leadership, their style is that they are going to lead through the promotion of goodwill and teamwork. They're very harmonious, peace-loving people. They are going to prefer managing the initial steps of a project rather than seeing it through, and they are able to defense any kind of tense situation. They make things happen by focusing on the immediate problems, and they facilitate effective interactions among people. Their problem-solving skills institute a realistic and a concrete assessment of all situations, especially in regards to other people. However, they may need to add some objectivity and a long-range vision of what else might be needed for optimal results. Their most preferred work environment contains energetic, easygoing people, and they like to focus on the present. They're very present-oriented, lively, and action-oriented. They need a fast pace that includes people who are adaptable and spontaneous. Remember that harmony is very important to these people. They're upbeat, social, and they like an aesthetically pleasing environment that is both attractive and colorful. So first, let's look at dominant sensing and inferior intuition. That means that these are applicable to the following personality types, ISTJ, ISFJ, ESTP, and ESFP. So these personality types are more likely to recognize pertinent facts, apply experience to their problems, notice what needs attention almost immediately. They keep track of essential items and they handle problems with realism. Under stress, these types are going to become caught in a rut. They may tend to consistently rehash the same details. They get stuck, they lose common sense, and they cannot find a way out of their problems. They have difficulty seeing any kind of solutions. They will view all future in negative terms and they're going to become very pessimistic. The potential downfall for an ESFP is that they overly emphasize subjective data in an effort to maintain harmony within the workplace. They may not always reflect on what is at hand before they jump in and spend too much time socializing, which means that they neglect their tasks. This leads to a problem that they may not always finish what they start. Personal development for an ESFP may need to include some logical implications in their decision making so that they can depersonalize any conflict. And they may need to plan ahead, especially when they're managing their work and their tasks. They need to balance their tasks and their socializing time as they don't see a big line between the two. And they also need to work on projects and time management.